So in this case, we have the square root of x minus 1 divided by x squared plus 1. So we have two restrictions. Would you guys agree? So we have restriction number 1, and we have restriction number 2. Restriction number 1 says anything that's under the radical has to be greater than or equal to 0, right? So I'm going to write this out kind of slow method for you guys. Once you guys do enough, pro enough of these problems, you'll probably be able to kind of speed this up. So first restriction, I say x minus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0. Second restriction, x squared plus 1 cannot equal 0. All right, those are your two restrictions. That's basically if you guys can almost get this, you know, very, very just drilled into you, simply what I'm going to do. <clears throat> now, let's go ahead and solve for each restriction here. So we go ahead and add 1 to both sides. x has to be greater than or equal to 1. Over here, I go ahead and solve minus 1, minus 1. x squared cannot equal negative 1. Square root, square root. Can we take the square root of a negative number? I, but it's not going to be in the real number system. So is there any, then, is there any constraints in our denominator? Or is there any real numbers then? And think about it. Is there any real numbers that make my denominator equal to 0? Any number that you could plug in for x that's going to make that denominator equal to 0? Any real number? Well, if you do 1, 1 squared is? 1, 1 plus 1. What about negative 1? Well, negative 1 squared is 1 plus 1. It's never going to happen, right? So there's no restriction in the denominator. So the only restriction we need to care about is this restriction. All right? And that says x is greater than or equal to 1. Right? And again, actually, I didn't even go through this. If you guys get confused on this, go back to algebra 1. Here's 0. Here's 1. Here's negative 1. X is greater than or equal to 1. You guys learn how to graph this in Algebra 1. How would you graph it? Well, you go to 1. Is it included or excluded? Included. X is greater than, that's going to be going this way. Right? So we would write that like this. 1, comma, infinity. OK? So you can use that if you want to. That sometimes helps people out. I forgot to mention that. <clears throat> 